Good afternoon, guys. MC Procrastinator here. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm extremely happy because clearly I have my Prelia Tuano factory. Yay! I'd actually planned to have all day off work Friday and I booked a day off and I was quite excited, you know, Thursday evening to Friday, etc. Friday morning, three, four o'clock in the morning, my little girl gets up and she's sick as a dog. And my wife goes to me, hey, just as well you've got Friday off work then. Ah, oh, there goes my Friday on the bike out the window. But hey, do you know what? Shit happens. Moving on. I put uh, Oxford heated grips on here. So, which brings me to my next topic. Oxford heated grips on a Prilly Tuano factory. For any of you guys out there looking to do this, I've done it. Didn't break it. Almost came close. So let me just run through with what you um, sort of need to consider and what I did. Right. So, first off, we need to get off the grips. And there's a kind of technique to this on the left hand side, it's kind of like a twist, pull, twist, pull, twist, pull, twist, pull. Make sure you use gloves because then you end up with like a really chaffed hand that looks like you've been tugging away like a stormtrooper. So just bear that in mind, okay, because it's um, a little bit sore and I'm a little bit sore in my right hand. I don't really want to explain that one to the missus. On the right hand side, however, on the throttle, what you want to do is you want to um, kind of like pull it off like a condom. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. You can see that on the image there. And there's one more kind of dynamic that kind of catch you out with this. So that on the Aprilia RF, and I actually had to phone up the dealer because I was like, uh, uh, looking at the Oxford grip, looking at this, uh, Oxford grip this, Oxford grip this, and going, yeah, that's not going to work. How am I going to get this on? And it had like three, four, five little spiky bits around the very end of the bar where actually in this image you can see that I've taken off, but on that very tip they kind of like... Yeah, like a dinosaur's back and they just like jag into the rubber to hold them in place. Anyway, I phoned up the dealer and said, hey, look, you know, blah, 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 blah. And he went, oh, yeah, mate, you know, like you just, it definitely goes on. You just got to push it on. And then he went and checked with the mechanic and he goes, well, you know, sometimes you're just wrong. The mechanic actually says, no, you've got to shave it off. They're all like that on the throttle. So basically, um, what I did was, you can see this, basically get a um, Stanley blade, hack away at it, you know, strip it off so it's nice and smooth. And when I say hack away at it, I, I had to hack away at it because you can see I've got a rusted Stanley blade and it wasn't particularly sharp, so I butchered. I absolutely butchered it. But you know what? I can't be bothered going out, buying a new blade, coming back and chopping it off. So chop it off. And then once you've done that, right, the next part is to go and take the back seat off. So you take the back seat off and disconnect the batteries. Now, right. This is quite funny. Well, it's not really, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So, take the minus off first, then take the positive off. Now, what you need to do, you need to make sure you move the cables away from the battery terminal. Because, you know, they're a tight cable. They kind of like, they kind of conform. They want to suck back onto the contacts, right? And if they suck back onto the contacts, what you do is, when you go put your screwdriver in or whatever to try and put it back together... And you, you start like me, because you obviously do the opposite when you start. You know, you take the negative off first, then the positive. Uh, you could probably just leave the positive on, to be absolutely honest with you. But I was just stupid. Um, I just took them both off and put the screwdriver in to try to get that first three, four little, uh, you know, twists on the screw to kind of get it to catch. <laughs> Holy shit! I nearly jumped on my skin, right? Like, there's, there's sparks everywhere. Oh, my God. Like, we're blowing up the fucking bike. I'm blowing up the fucking bike. Right, I hadn't. But I was lucky because obviously it was just a contact between that and there's like a little metal bit there that's kind of next to where the screwdriver goes down. Pop, bang, holy shit, I spazzed on the spot, right? Anyway, so just don't do that. That's simple. Okay, so once you've got the back off, once you've got the contacts off, you pretty much run the cables. This next video pretty much shows you from front to finish where the cables are uh, running, but I'm just going to describe to you first before I show you that. Um, I pretty much, so... Pull them down the left-hand side, down the, under the case, and there's a plastic cover that comes off. Just take that off. Again, you'll see that in the video. Uh, you can work that backwards. And then um, you get to the bottom, and then I put it up. So one, one of the things, when you get to the radiator um, on the left-hand side, I was a bit concerned because at first I just put it over the radiator, right, and then put the um, connector links to plug into the you know the bar ends, the, you know, the, the handle grips, the grips that you're going to put on. And, yeah, that was uh, for me, that seemed like a problem because, you know, that radiator probably gets really, really hot, right? And I thought, hmm. So I probably spent 20, 25 minutes trying to, you know, make, you know, go for a detour up the side and put it, put it in the plastics and stuff on the left-hand side of the fairing. And then, yeah, anyway, long and short of it, um, I put it, put it over the 
the there's like this little and you'll see it in the video there's this little well actually it's, it's, it's quite hard to see but there's this tiny little hoop and you just like spit it through the hoop and then it comes round and then you um yeah you pretty much just feed it then into the the, the handlebar grips and the controller right which actually brings me to the next thing, um, total modification required. And when I say total modification required, you have this clump of spaghetti, right, of wires all together that just, there's no way to make this neat with these stupid ends that are put on there. Another thing, right, when, when, when I took this up to my mate and we're both spazzing about how to do this and we just decided to cut the cables and chop shit off, right? Um, but, like... The, the plugs that you've actually got, right? You would think brown and blue, right? Brown and blue. So what, what are we going to have there? Brown's going to be live. Blue's going to be neutral, right? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. So don't, don't, don't even think about trying to make a mistake here, right? Blue was positive and uh, the brown was neutral, right? So the spuds that obviously put this together, like, just clearly have no concept about what, you know, live and neutral mean. So it's a bit disappointing because... I guess that's a key thing, right? Never ever make assumptions. Whatever you're putting on, don't make assumptions. Just check it. Just test it. It's no big deal. Just to put the additional connectors in. Look at which one's positive and negative on the input, and look at how that relates on the output. Right? Can't go wrong then. So anyway, yeah. So I chopped off all the wires, and we, you know, like we tidied it all up, created a nice little loom. and uh, used solder. We used we soldered the wires together. It was just you know better contact. Uh, and safer, you know, it's not going to come loose over time. And yeah, you can watch it from the front to the back of this video. It pretty much just shows where the controller is, um, runs the cable down the loom, up the side, and into the bar. It's really, really just short. So, look, guys, it is really, it's not a kind of, you know, uh, in depth how to do it. It's just a real quick descriptive overview to kind of got you. And if you guys have got any questions, stick it in the comments fields. Hopefully it's somewhat useful. If you want me to make a more detailed video and pull off all the shit so you can actually see the wires running and where they're running, etc, etc, let me know and I'll happy to do that for you. MC Procrastinator out.